Hi, everyone. I'm so excited that you're all here with me. In this session, I will share some collective thoughts, statistics, ideas, and use cases on how to gamify your events while driving value for sponsors through gamification. Let me begin with a quick introduction about Ingameo. I'm Connie K. Santos, Head of Strategic Partnership, and Dimash Kanaev is our CEO and founder. We are advocates of gamification and believe it will only help elevate your audience engagement. The name Ingameo is our creative way to combine engagement with gamification. Our core solutions behind Ingameo are to take effective gaming mechanics and enable the ability to customize them with branded content, storytelling, interactive experiences, and call to action with special offers. Our engagers can be offered as elevated activations that improve branded engagement integrated into virtual, hybrid, and in-person events. Even with the picture of us here, we're displaying our many combined badges that identify our accomplishments and experiences. And wink, yes. The, this slide is also a first example of gamification mechanics, showing certification through badges that helps build your confidence that we are leading the right session. How to gamify events. Let's begin with identifying the opportunities and challenges. We all know that what has happened with the industry due to a global pandemic. Now it's all about virtual and hybrid events, right? And even though the industry has made an unprecedented step forward, there are still many areas of improvement. One of the core challenges is related to audience engagement and participation, participants retention. What will stop you from quitting an event when you are just one click away from checking your email, browsing other interesting content, or being distracted by push notifications from different apps? If attendees will not be able to easily find something that they are interested in during an event, you will also most likely lose them very quickly. We call these engagement sinkholes. These are risks we must acknowledge and mitigate by adding more interactive activities to maintain audience engagement. Another challenge for event professionals, have you been a sponsor at a virtual event where were there enough options to stand out from others and maximize your ROI and create greater awareness and interaction with participants? A few event platforms like BII can do it really well, but the options for majority are quite limited for now. And in most cases, we are dealing with a standard sponsors page, banners and logos across different places of the platform, right? 31% of event professionals admit that when dealing with virtual hybrid events, it is challenging to engage the audience, drive sponsorship ROI, and as a result, monetize their event. Today, I will show you how gamification can combat these opportunities at the same time, and I encourage you to reimagine your event and apply gamification solutions as part of your experience design. Let's define gamification. Gamification is not gaming, but rather the application of game elements and mechanics within non-game environments. I'm sure you've seen and experienced this many times. McDonald's coast-to-coast -coast monopoly gamification to promote sales is a great example. Some of you may be even buying more frequently cups of coffees or supersizing your combo just so that you can get that extra tab that can help complete your collection of game pieces to win better prizes. Or whenever you're dealing with points, badges, leaderboards, you are most likely dealing with some type of gamification. That tries to incentivize you to do certain desired tasks like upgrade your combo or buy more coffee. So why should we event professionals care about this? First of all, it really works well when capturing people's attention and improving conversion and engagement. These stats are coming from educational and work environments. Gamification drives motivation, engagement, and interactions. 700% 700, 700 conversion rate, 60% engagement increase, 50% improved productivity, 
These are outstanding results and something that we can all aim by applying the right gamification strategies. Secondly, the average age of for gamers is about 40 years young. Not to mention that gaming is in the DNA of several generations like millennials, Gen Z, and Gen Alpha. With over 2.7 billion people playing games almost on a daily basis, the chances are that the majority of your participants are more than familiar with gaming mechanics and will very likely, happily, accept gamified experiences at your events. Even in the Demand Jan report, it indicates that 93% of marketers love gamification and will continue to implement it in their campaigns. Thirdly, according to recent research from Oxford University, gaming makes people happier and it release, relieves stress. Not to mention numerous research papers indicating a number of benefits for mental health, creativity, productivity, and for socialization. From a source SAP, gamification increases content discovery, thereby heightening activity feed engagement by nearly 68%. And lastly, gamified experiences trigger stronger emotions and builds trust and interest for a product or service in a more effective way, which results in increased willingness to explore and buy. With trust, it also increases social sharing and in this source statistic by 22%. So why should we at least try to implement gamified experiences at events? Because it's natural and familiar for our participants. If we help to relieve their stress during the event and spark positive emotions that will in turn help to convey the information from the sponsors and incentivize people to do and explore more, it's all benefits. And Third point here, gamification helps build trust with brands and promote your sponsors. From Talent LMS survey, 89% of survey respondents claim that if a task is gamified, they feel eager to complete it. So a combination of game mechanics, sponsors, brands, and key engagement analytics behind this experience could become a powerful triple value package for sponsors and organizers. It can boost the audience engagement, drive sponsorship ROI, and generate extra monetization for event owners. Let's now dive into more results and sample use cases. At Ingameo, what we saw is that gamified packages can engage up to 90% of audiences while driving 10 times more interactions with the sponsors and generate tenfold profit for each of the packages you use and sell to sponsors. A typical gamified experience is not a one-click experience. It is rather a journey that have different touch points that helps create a more meaningful experience that connects the participants to the overall theme of your event. In this flow here, this shows you several the actual touch point journeys is an example. Welcome message that includes a leaderboard, a storytelling page that tells you how this connects back to the overall event experience, the game that engages them to do their best to complete the task, and their final results at the end could be downloaded and shared as a social moment, and it can also create fo a FOMO moment or it can allow the participant to challenge others to beat their score, therefore amplifying the experience and engagement. If all, and at the end, the final call to action page with a special offer to play more or play again, or to get more information, or to even learn more about the sponsors. As you plan your events with gamification, consider your audience and how they will access it. Making it easy easy as possible is vital. So the experience can be frictionless and enjoyable. The five different ways here that we're recommending that you can consider is one, integration with simple iframe directly on the virtual platform. So it contains the whole experience within that environment. Number two, create shared 
screen moments where the host is using a video conferencing solution like Zoom as an example, you can share your screen of the game and provide a QR code so participants can use their mobile devices to activate the experience. The third one, quick links that you can post and share on chats or even on social media. Four, if presented on screen with directions, enable QR code that allows participants to scan the QR code to activate the synchronized experience for in-person events. And five, print QR code posters that activate the, the unique experience as the participants explore the physical in-person venue. This could be a really fun scavenger hunt as well. Important tip here, do also include communication plans to let your participants know that you have some really engaging, fun activities planned out. And by knowing, they know that they can look for it and look forward to it as well. Another tip, when the right gamified message is positioned, it will help motivate participants to have a higher click-through rate. In this example, same image, but the call to action message and button is different. To play a game within Gameo and start or check in Gameo page, click visit. Which would you choose? To further illustrate this example, we're going to share the case study from a past event with Taxi Talk Global. The jigsaw puzzle mechanics were used to tell a story about Cadence brand, and the activity was embedded into the venue of the event, the menu of the event, sorry. In total, there were about 300 interactions with 150 views of the call to action page and 62 clicks on the sponsor's offer. The average duration of the event was over three minutes, and I am sure that you will agree that a click-through rate of 40% 40, 40 is a great number. But what is most important here is that a standard sponsors page of the same brand and at the same event had just above 30 visits, which means that Gamify activations have driven 10 times more interactions with the sponsor. And similar success metrics were observed for the interactive map of the event where participants could drop pins and see the pins of other attendees and the aggregated statistics on how many cities, countries are presented. In this case, we saw the click-through rate of the sponsor's offer of 67%. As, of, as one of our participants said, in this case, it's Anthony Vade, it was not only an interactive and fun experience, but he was learning things about the sponsor in a fun and engaging way, what helped, and what helped the information to stick for a longer time. The puzzle had a leaderboard and the participants could play multiple times to improve their result. As part of the event experience, the event host also periodically pushed notifications informing the rest of the audience of the leaderboard status. Example, wow, go Barbara. She just beat Anthony's result. She's now ranked number one. This added engagement by the event host further amplified the excitement and emotional drive to try better and to get to the top ranking result. Another cool case happened recently at a data science conference. The word search was customized according to the topic of the event, and the call to action page promoted a downloadable file from the sponsor. As you can see, the click-through rate was about 70%. And, another, and the organizer, the attendees, and the sponsors had a great experience when playing it. As it is stated by the organizer's testimonial, while it was very easy to create the experience, it also generated measurable value for the key sponsors and boosted audience engagement. The last case study here is coming from the Game On event that was hosted by an event platform in collaboration with our company and our partners with, from Incentel. This is just one of the activations, a selfie booth, that generated 40% of click-through rate. As you can see, the agenda of the event was structured in a way that the four activations were scheduled for the break, and it was a self-paced experience so everyone could go through it at any point in time, and instead of facing an engagement sinkhole, the participants were engaged with a number of gamified experiences. 
At the end of the event, we announced the winners and presented the prize, which also helped to keep the audience in the room. As Jamie, the winner of the Jigsaw Puzzle Contest put it, it was the way of the future of engagement. To sum up, here's a quick checklist on how to gamify your events. One, add gamification experiences to your event. That's the most important part. Number two, customize the games to match your event theme and story. Three, boost audience engagement with social share moments. Four, make it accessible. Five, create triple value packages for sponsors. Six, be playful on your message to drive call to actions. Thank you and congratulations to the VII team for their very engaging platform and different gamified experiences at the A to Z hybrid event. Don't forget that the more you interact with the different experiences on this dashboard, you're earning valuable coins that you can use in virtual store to redeem prizes. And before you leave, um, please have fun. Um, and you can scan the QR code for a special game exclusive to anyone that's watching this, um, this session. And in the chat, uh, we'll post the actual link as well so you can have access to that. Now, top number one and number two, um, players at the end of the contest period will have a chance to win a $50 gift card in a very special book. Thank you for your time, everyone. We truly believe that gamification can make your world a better experience and happier and more productive place. It is already happening in other industries, so why not start it in ours? I would love to connect with anyone and everyone um, who's watched this and have any more questions about gamification, so feel free to email me or connect with me via LinkedIn. Um, thank you so much, everyone. Have a wonderful day.